If Notebook LM wasn't enough for you, Google has another free tool where you can generate AI podcasts. And in this video, I'm going to explain what this tool is and how you guys can access it. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission here is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you have any thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But now let's dive back into another free AI podcast generator offered by Google. So as you probably saw in the beginning, this tool is called Illuminate, and I'll leave a link to this website in the video description below. You can access this with a free Google account similar to Notebook LM. And before I kind of dive in and show you how to use this, I want to play a quick clip so you guys can understand what this sounds like. And future directions. What immediately strikes you about this technology's potential? Chat GPT's ability to generate human-like text is truly remarkable. It's not just mimicking, it's demonstrating a level of- So you guys get the idea, very similar to Notebook LM. And same here, what you can do is download this. And I believe this actually downloads into a MP3 file. So instead of a WAV file, you get an MP3 file from Illuminate. Uh, you can share it just like you could with Notebook LM. So it's very similar. So what is the difference here between Illuminate and Notebook LM? Well, as you'll see right here on the home screen, there are dozens and dozens of these research papers. There's books, there's popular books that it has AI generated audio discussions of versus Notebook LM. You have to upload your own sources and you can make AI podcasts based on the sources that you upload. And that is the difference here with Illuminate. You have access to all of these different research papers in Go at Google's database or wherever they're getting this from. Whereas here, you probably wouldn't be able to find these sources on the internet. Some of them, sure, maybe, uh, but this is more catered towards academic research stuff. So let's see what this looks like before I just keep rambling. So if I click generate, you'll see here you have the option to search for a topic or paste a PDF, a URL of a PDF. So in this example, I'm just gonna do Bitcoin. I spelled it wrong, but it still came up correctly. And then you'll have this list of options of research papers that you can choose to help generate this AI generated podcast. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check, let's see how many I can check here. It looks like you can only check four. So I'm gonna check four, click add, and you'll see the sources here on the left. Now this is important, you can craft a prompt basically how you want the output to sound on the audio version. So here it says, create a discussion tailored for a general audience with a medium duration. The tone should be semi-professional. Uh, so let's say you want an advanced audience. So we could do that for an advanced audience. I'm not sure if you can actually edit that. looks like you can only edit uh, these text box here. So create a discussion tailored for an advanced audience with a medium duration. Let's do, let's do a short duration. The tone should be semi-professional. Uh, let's do non-professional. I'm curious to see what this sounds like. And then that's done. Or you can click I'm feeling lucky and it'll just respin the entire prompt for you. Uh, let's just click generate and see what happens. And so it says your audio is being generated. This should take about 30 seconds. So I'm going to skip ahead and wait till this is complete. All right, so here is the audio creation that was generated by those four research papers on Bitcoin. Now, one thing I noticed right away is you can view your sources. That's kind of cool. But more importantly, you can view the transcript right here. So versus Notebook LM, you'd have to download the WAV file, upload it into a tool like Descript, and then get the transcript taking that extra step. So it looks like Illuminate just has the transcript right here and you can do whatever with it. So that is extremely beneficial in my opinion. So let's go ahead and play this. And I want to see what this sounds like really quickly. Bitcoin's technological foundations, public-private key cryptography, proof of work, its economic aspects, press volatility, environment, environment. Are there any viable alternatives? To... So again, very similar to the output that you hear in Notebook LM with that man and that woman talking about particular topics. So one thing that's important to mention here is it says paste a PDF URL. Now, unfortunately, if you try to do that, I'm gonna, I tried this in an earlier example and it didn't work. So I wanna be transparent about what works and what doesn't work with this tool. And you come back here and paste a PDF URL and click enter. You're gonna get an error message here that says we only support PDF links from the following domains. And there's only four domains that Google Illuminate supports PDF URLs from. So you cannot do that. If you wanna upload a PDF and make an audio file file from it, you have to use Notebook LM for that. So that's a use case for Notebook LM. But that is Google Illuminate. The last thing that I want to mention is that this is what's 
part of called labs.google. And I would recommend bookmarking this website. And if you scroll down, you'll see emerging AI tools. So right here, Notebook LM, we have image FX, music FX, video FX. I might have to dive into these more. I like this music and video one. And if you scroll to the right, this is where I actually found Illuminate. So text FX, gen type, code. There's all sorts of these new AI tools that Google is releasing on this labs.google website. So just make sure that you're keeping your eye out for the latest and greatest when it comes to Google AI. So that's it guys. I know this was a super quick video on Google Illuminate and Notebook LM probably has a lot more use cases in the real world than Google Illuminate, but I just want to bring you these quick videos of new tools as I see them and hopefully you guys can find some value in them. So I have other videos on my channel about Notebook LM if you're interested, how to generate AI podcasts. I talk about five real world use cases for Notebook LM. So I'll be sure to leave links to all of those in the video description below. But again, guys, this is Ryan. And appreciate you if you've made it this far. Be sure to like this video, leave me a comment below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.